I slept on the heater. On the heater. I'm not joking, guys. I slept on the heater. I don't know how I did it, but I knew that day I did not sleep on the bed because the bed was kind of far from my heater. <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel if you are here for the first time my name is victoria kilobo and if you're a returning subscriber welcome welcome don't forget to subscribe do not forget to like share this video with your friends and also turn on the notification today i will be talking about the things you should be expecting if you want to come to czech republic or europe as a as a continent I will just be using Czech Republic as a case study. So I made some list here. I have like five things you should know about before you come to Czech. Now let's get on with the video. The first thing you should be aware of is the language barrier. We all know, or maybe you don't know, but Czech is not an English speaking country. They don't speak of course you can see the younger generation that speak english good english but you should know that if you're coming to a country where you don't you you know that their major language is not english you should at least try to learn some few words in case you're in an environment where you, there, there is no wi-fi there is no uh, you cannot connect to the internet to use your google translate you can like at least try to know the signs or to ask some questions i know it's not that easy but try as much as you can if you are planning to come to czech republic or europe as a continent please try as much as possible to know few words don't be like me i'm not having a problem here if you're not, if you don't know like if you don't uh, study their language it is totally fine i've been here for eight months and i can tell you that language barrier is not a problem I don't speak the language but i have never encountered i've never gone to it it has never got to a situation where i have to like i have to i don't know but you should get what i'm trying to say it's never a pro it's not a problem for me language barrier because currently this semester we're doing czech language and let me tell you it's hard but let me not discourage you so that's, that's one one thing is that you should learn the at least try to learn the language. Second thing people ask me is a Czech racist. My dear, everything I'm talking today is from my own perspective, from my own experience. I don't know about other people. I don't know what their, what they, what, what their experiences are, but I'm talking from my own experience. And if I'm talking if you no know, racism, racism is everywhere. Even in my country where I come from, there are racists. Racism is everywhere. But I can assure you that since I've been in Czech Republic for eight months, nine months now, let me stop saying eight months, eight months, it's nine months. Since I've been in Czech Republic for nine months, I have never, ever experienced racism. In fact, you experience, I experience the opposite. Like anywhere I go, it's like I'm a celebrity. Like everywhere we like to like, oh my God, can I touch your hair? you something like that i don't find it offensive or weird i find it like i if you okay of course you can go ahead touch my hair something like that so i can tell you from my experience i have never experienced racism i can say there is one situation i would not call that racism it's not racism it's i call it kind of ignorance the, the person I, that, that is what i would call it because it was the time of COVID when I came, I just came back, I just came to check and it's just still, this wearing of nose mask was still very compulsory. So I forgot my, not that I forgot, I, I thought I forgot my nose mask, not knowing I was putting it in my bag or something. So I came, I entered the tram and I had someone speaking Czech. I never knew he was talking to me. I don't understand Czech, obviously. I never knew he was talking to me. So, and someone was already defending me without me knowing. So you can see that it's not racism. He was trying to tell me to get out of the tram because I'm not wearing nose mask. Mind you, I was not the only one without nose mask. So someone was, someone defended me. It was when the thing was like, get it out of, I was like, what's happening? Why are people shouting? That was where someone told me, 
oh they are actually talking about you and this person is defending so that is is, is that is ignorance it's not that is not racism or maybe it's my it's my it's i would call i would say it's my it was my fault for not wearing nose mask because it was really compulsory so yeah that is that for racism i can say like i said before i have never experienced anything racist racism in czech republic they are very open-minded you come here you see a lot of international students different countries different culture nobody cares what you do you can do your thing nobody the third thing i'm going to talk about is the weather hmm. the weather let me tell you if you're coming from a hot country like my country nigeria please like if you're coming during the winter semester like the september november december please come with a winter jacket not just any winter jacket not just any winter jacket come with a good winter jacket i remember the day i came here i don't know if i said it in my previous video i slept on the heater on the heater i'm not joking guys i slept on the heater i don't know how i did it but i knew that day i did not sleep on the bed because the bed was kind of far from my i just took the blanket the blanket was so thick but it was like you know that was my first day so but now i'm used to the weather you can see i'm not i know i'm wearing some long i'm wearing some sleeve but right now it's currently very cold and the heater is the heater is not on so i can say i'm trying i'm used to it a little bit you can never be used to cold but yeah so please if you're coming come with uh a, a winter a good winter jacket i actually brought a winter jacket but uh, my dad was like i brought singlet <laughs> okay now let's continue so that is that come with a good winter jacket to help you with the cold you can come with hats you can come with gloves good gloves and you can also use the scarf now that is for the weather now let me go to food if you are the person who is into if you are the person who is into your african food please if you're coming come with food come with a lot of food i can tell i've been here for nine months and the food i brought i can tell you some of them i still have them because i watched um i watched a, a, a video on youtube where someone said if you come into europe you shouldn't come with a lot of clothes come with a lot of i actually took that advice and let me tell you it was the best it was the best thing i could ever do is that correct okay so please you can come with little clothes little clothes more food if you are the person who is not open to other kinds of food if you are like me i always use myself as a case study if you are like me please come with your food but if you're not like me or if you're not the person who is into the nigerian or african food if you can you can adapt of course you there are uh other there are restaurants here where you can eat their food it's not that expensive but if you oh there are some african shops here too where you can buy some things i actually buy a few things from there too and it's the price is kind of fair so yeah if you know that you don't want to spend much come with your african food yeah now the next thing i'm going to be talking about which is the fifth thing is the job opportunities people ask me at the job opportunities here in czech republic there are job opportunities everywhere it just depends on your field or your level of expertise or your experience if you're talking about a uh, uh, job currently i'm working at amazon yay yeah i'm working at amazon and i've been working for let's say four months now and it has been good before i started working at amazon i actually was working at kfc so you can see if you if you want a, a job that is not uh there are some unprofessional jobs like just what i just say you can work at kfc you can work at burger king you can work at mcdonald's some restaurants english restaurants of course there are uh not just English restaurants, even uh, Chinese restaurants, you can work there too if you know 
their culture. So I'm if joking. you want a professional job, customer service work is kind of, it's really like not, I will not say easy. It's really because it all depends on you and you, what you have on your CV or what your experiences are. So if you have a, a, an experience on customer service, I would say you would find it easy to, easy, it, it, it will be easier for you to get a job here in the related uh, related field. Because actually I have an experience as a customer service and also as a marketer. And I, that was what I used to apply for my job. And I got it and it's kind of different from what I am doing now. But you'll, get, you'll, you'll be trained of course. So, another job which you can you find here is uh, the IT related uh, jobs. It can be programming, front end developer, back end developer, whatever it may be, provided it's IT related, you'd find it easy to get job here too. And also economics too. Yeah, if you also have experience in, experience in economics, you can find it, you can find job here too. And to crown it all, it all depends on you. It all depends on your experience. It all depends on your level of expertise, your your field of study, or your experience, profession. It all depends on that. These are the five things you should know when you are coming to Czech Republic. I talked about the language barrier. It's not really a problem. I talked about the racism thing, which is also not a problem. I talked about the weather, which is a problem if you're not used to the cold. I also talked about food, which should could be a problem too if you are like me. Don't mind it. If you are used to the if you are the African type. And also I talked about job opportunities. I will be stopping here for today. If you have any question, like I said before, please put it down in the comment section below and I will try as much as I can to answer those questions. And before you go, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like, do not forget to share this video and see you guys in my next video. Bye.